Hi, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to create coloring books that sells using some AI tools. We'll be covering three steps. One would be niche research. I'll be focusing more on the Amazon platform. Two would be using ChatGPT and Midjourney AI to get the book elements and pictures that we need. And finally, we'll be using Canva to put everything together. So this is a part of a mini series I started on digital products to sell online with the help of AI tools. You could check out the first video. I will link that in the card above and you could also find the link in the description box. And to all my new subscribers, I would love to say welcome and thank you for joining this community. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so step one is to do niche research and we'll be using the amazon platform for that specifically probably in another video i could look into etsy and on amazon platform what we'll be looking out for is best sellers because we want to study them and understand what they are doing right and probably know how to structure our product and also you also want to know um if creating this particular coloring book is worth your time effort and whether there's actual profit in doing that so the next thing we do we go to amazon.com and at the very top type in coloring books so once you type in coloring books you would notice that we have about 80,000 results which is very high and we need to reduce this result so let's make it more specific i want to make coloring books for adults so we'll choose adults relaxation um it drops okay it drops to thirty thousand, but this is still very high but let's quickly look at bestsellers within the adult niche so we have things like patterns we have things like animals um we have flowers patterns again we have motivational inspirational coloring book okay so let's look into animals so you could do this for different several um areas and see the niche you want but specifically for this video let's just dive deep into animals Okay, so you could see that the result has actually dropped so much to about 8,000. So you could see this is a bestseller. This is another bestseller. Okay, so now that we have reduced this a bit to um, the animal niche, specifically within the adult coloring book, what, else, what we need to do next is to verify this niche. And how do we do this? We verify this niche by looking at three key components. We are looking at demand, competition, and what the royalties are. Now, in terms of um, knowing what these three parameters are, we're going to be using um, a tool called BookBolt. There are other tools out there you could use, but BookBolt Book, Book has three, um, three days free trial, so you could just try that out on your own. So I've installed the Chrome extension, so I'll just click on that. And once I click on that, this dialog box appears and what it's going to do is going to pull up all the information on this page and gives you a breakdown and then would analyze that breakdown. So once I click start, it starts loading and pulling in all the information. So it's doing that. I stopped it at 22 um, products. You could pull in more just to look at that. So in terms of demand to check off that particular um, parameter we are going to be looking at the average number of sales per month so you could see that within the 22 books that we pulled in there's an average sales of about 653.95 which is quite good and let's look at some um, books individually to see how they are doing this is um 2.2 sales per month not so much but let's look at this. So you see that this particular book was launched just in January. It's not up to a month. And it makes average sales of about 237.6, which is good. It's an adult crime book that has animals and all. Then, so you could study that. Let's look at, to see if we find ones again that is doing that number. This is another one that is doing a huge amount of number. And it's even less than, it was posted just 11 days ago. All right, so now we have ascertained that there is demand for um, 
adult coloring books specifically within the animal niche we need to now understand the competition and for you to understand the competition you need to check for the average number of reviews per month so the lesser it is in terms of under 1000 the better it is but amazon is a very matured platform which you might not find or you might but you can use that to gauge how competitive the niche is so let's go back to the products that we identified that were selling so well you could see that in terms of review it just has only two reviews which is not bad so that means there's demand for this type of coloring books and at the same time the reviews are not so high and the competition is not so high so let's look at the next one this is also like one review so you need to dig deep more to know if is this really competitive or not but for all we can see is a fair pants when you decide to make coloring books animal coloring books specifically for amazon now that we have looked at demand competition now we need to look at royalties for you to understand how much you'll be making and to know whether doing this is worth your time okay for amazon kdp there are two types of um, royalty rates that they have um for books between two 99 to 999 you qualify for 70 percent royalty rate and if the book is less than 299 or above 999 you qualify for 35 percent royalty rate so let's look at some of the average price for the books that we're looking at at the very top you could see that the average price is about 7.99 which falls under the 70 percent royalty rate so you need to make sure that when you're pricing your items you are close to the average price of these items or a little bit lower just to make more sales we have talked about demand we have talked about competition and you have a clear idea of what royalty um is so if you're enjoying this video so far kindly click on the like button and the subscribe button and i'll highly appreciate that okay so now we are in step two where we'll be using chat gpt to generate ideas of what would be in our book and use uh, me journey ai to generate the book elements and the pictures for it so it's important to note that um, for amazon kdp um you need to have not less than 24 pages so you need ideas to fill up your coloring book so let's use chat gpt so in chat gpt we're going to just type in give me since we are looking at animals and we want to um do let's just say woodland animals so give me let's say 20 for instance 20 ideas for woodland animals coloring book let's see what it's going to do so it's just giving us list we want some scenery so we'll have to retype that and see what it's going to do so this is just 20 but we want uh let's copy this we want like scenery kind of ideas so say give me 20 ideas and uh let's say scenery let's see what it's gonna do then eclair yeah so you could see fox on a rock out cutting squirrel in a tree raccoon climbing a tree this is what we want we want some form of scene so when we create the coloring book they can just only paint the animals but they could paint the the scenes as well so this is really really good so once we're done generating this and we are satisfied with what we have next we need to do is to go to mid journey and start using this to generate each of our coloring books so let's go to mid journey okay so in mid journey we type in imagine the imagine prompt and we'll type in let's go back here so we want to get um let's see this okay then we enter okay these are really cool this this two is really cool so let's just upscale these two and see how it looks they really look nice so we'll come here so this is one two so we click on upscale one and upscale two and watch it do its thing okay so you could see how cute these are this is so good so let's look at the next one that he loaded these are so cool okay so you would go ahead and generate all the pictures you need um for 
the different animals i've gone ahead to generate some of them so we don't waste so much time to move into canva and stop me and start making the designs and putting the book together okay so the final step step is designing um a coloring book in canva after we have generated our pictures from me journey ai so but before we start making um our designs in canva we need to know what the dimensions of this books are so you know the size to use so let's go back to amazon okay and let's close this out and see if we could look for any of those books and see what the size is so when you open them at the very base it tells you what the dimension so you could see 8.5 by 11 inches so this is what we will be using and for you to generate the dimension that there are two things you need to generate you need to generate the cover of the page and the inside of the book so let's go to amazon kdp calculator so at the calculator you choose what type of binding you want or so choose paperback the interior do you want it to be standard black and white or do you want it you no know, premium color so we could probably leave it as stand um black and white then um we could say white paper or cream paper we could say white paper and um left to right for page turn direction inches so you once you click here you see different sizes so we'll choose eight by five eight point five by eleven okay all right and you have to choose the number of pages so it kind of expands a bit to tell you the number of um the size okay so what you need to do is once you're okay with the dimensions you just click download template and it downloads um a zip folder which you can um ex which you can extract and then get this dimension which we would use in canva so first of all in let's go back to canva and then start creating the dimension so the first one we would create is the inner cover so we go to create since we know the dimension we could say customize size and remember it has to be in inches so change this to inch and make this 8.5 by 11 and click create okay so this loads let me collapse this so this is the how the inside of our pages are going to look like but before we dive into the inner um pages of the book let's look at the cover so i've extracted the picture that i downloaded so let's open it so it loads and you could see that it has given us the, the overall dimension you need to use the overall dimension so you could capture from edge to edge so we're using this for um the cover so let me minimize this and take it outside so let's go back to the home page and use 17.306 and uh, 11.250 and we will click on create dimensions all right so this entire length for the coloring book cover so the next thing we'll do is to upload the picture we got from amazon kdp so to help us with dimension creating i think i've uploaded that already so let me just go to my uploads okay and get the dimension click on that so this is the dimension as well as i've also gotten the dimension for the inner books but before the we look into the inner page let's look at the the cover first of all so now that we have gotten the dimension what you need to do before you start designing is you could take this to the edge okay take this to the edge and you might need to gray this out a bit or make it transparent so you can click on this and reduce the transparency you could see so when you are designing you could see what is behind um this so the thing that we need to do is first of all bring in what our cover picture would be right and make sure that it sits so another thing you need to notice uh, as well is 
if you want it to bleed out you could just take it to the end but if you don't want it to bleed out you could just make sure you stay within the boundaries so i'm just gonna expand this a bit this looks good okay so before i start playing around i like to make a copy so i don't mess what i'm designing up so i just made a copy so you can see that too so let's keep working on this so next i want to have a background color because this is behind i'm just going to reduce it uh once you click on the color i like to go here and tend to use the color that is similar to the color of the picture i'm using so i click this and it takes the color i like this the way it is so let me bring this back okay so now we have this we need to put in the title and we go ahead and put in what the uh is going to be at the back so when you're designing it's important to pay attention to the barcode you don't need to you don't need to cover this that's where the barcode of the coloring book would be okay All right so let's put the title okay so this is a title i created so we'll just move this up a bit to make it sit properly you can make a title to sit anywhere you like but well, let's make this up so this sits well so the next thing is to put in some pictures at the back just to showcase what's um part of the inner covers or the pages you have in your coloring book all right so let's put in the about us i have one made already yeah i love this and so this lo looks really nice in terms of how you want it to be so once you're done with the cover you could always click on the share and go to download and download this as a pdf for the cover so now we are done with the cover let's look into the inner pages of the book so we have this that we have created already so let's put in the dimensions i've already uploaded so let's start putting the pictures one after the other so let's use this as the first one okay so um i like to put a border around this because if i delete the boundary you would see how it looks so let me make it duplicate if i delete the boundary so this is the one we're working with let me just delete the boundary you see how it looks it doesn't look too nice so i like to use like a black border so i'll go to elements and get a shape so elements then i'll get a shape so i'll click on this okay you can see it looks way better now so you could go ahead and um, create multiple of these pages and add all the the pictures so let me just quickly do that okay so i've added all the pictures so you could see how it looks all right so once you're done you go to the very top the share you click on the share and click download and download as a pdf um file which you will be able to upload on amazon with the cover and there you have it so coming up next will be an in-depth tutorial for the children um storybooks so i'm sure you don't want to miss that out so be sure to like this video subscribe to know when the video goes live and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one